ano nga ba ang two secant exterior angle theorem? Tara at pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at maputo. What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Humor PH. Andito na naman ang pabibo ninyong guro na punong-puno ng humor and willing to give you more. Narito ako para tulungan ka, natulungan ng sarili mong matuto sa pumamagitan ng math pinadali, math pinasaya, at math pinaexciting na mathematics lesson. Now, if you find this video helpful, please wag na wag mong kakalimutan na mag-subscribe and i-click notification bell para updated ka sa lessons natin dito sa Humor PH. And please help me share this to your friends, classmates, teachers, parents, ate, or kuya, tita, or tito na nangangailangan din ng ganitong lesson. Alright? Without further ado, let's get to our discussion. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So for today, we're going to discuss about 2 secant exterior angle theorem. Ayan. So let's get this lesson started. Ayan. So actually, isa ito sa mga lesson natin about yung mga theorems on tangent, secant, segments, and chords. Ayan. So, if you want to watch yung other videos natin about it, so just look for grade 10 second quarter playlist and dun lahat ng mga topics on circles. Alright. So, ano namang meron dito sa 2 second exterior angle theorem? Ito siya. The measure of an angle formed by 2 seconds of a circle intersecting a point in the exterior of a circle is one half the absolute value of the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So, napakadaming sinasabi para I'd explain that through the illustration. Ito siya. So, kaya nga sinabing 2 secant, dapat you will find 2 secant sa ating illustration. So, this would be our first secant, atong green. And second secant, atong blue. How do you describe secant nga ulit? Yun po yung line, line, which is my arrowhead sa magkabi ng dulo, na nagtatama sa dalawang point on the circle. Ayan, so itong green, tumama sa dalawang point sa circle. Atong blue, ganun din. So, mangyayari lang, or gagamitin lang ang theorem na ito once na may 2 secant, tapos nag-intersect sa labas. Okay? So, yun siya. So, you have to always check kasi kung applicable ba yung theorem kasi hindi lahat ng theorem pwede mong i-apply sa isang problem. So, iba-iba ang i-apply mong theorem on a particular problem about circle. Ayan. So, dito, we will apply this 2 secant exterior angle theorem. Alright. So, anong sinasabi dyan? May angle daw na na-form yung dalawang secant. Ito yun. Di ba nag-intersect sila sa labas? May nabuong angle ngayon. This one. Of the circle, sabi daw exterior point, one half. Yung measurement daw nito, let me name pala yung mga points dito. Let's have P, A, B, C, and D. Ayan. So let's name this angle as A, P, B. Okay? Pangalan natin siya as measurement of angle A, P, and B. Ayan. So actually, this angle can be named as angle C, P, D. Pwede rin yun. Or C, P, B. Basta, yung ating vertex ay yung P. Ibig sabihin yan, ito yung tinutukoy natin. Okay? So ang pinag-uusapan kasi is the angle. Yung angle na na-form na na ng 2 secant na yun. When we have the intersection in the exterior. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng theorem na ito. So anong relationship daw? Sabi 1 half. Lagay ka ng 1 half. 1 half, the absolute value. We will disregard absolute value here. Okay? Pero, uh, conceptually, this is really the right thing to do. Pero bibigyan ko kayo ng technique kung paano kayo makakaiwan sa absolute value. Ayan. So, I'll do it here. Absolute value is good. Tama yan. Kasi, there would be times na magne-negative kasi yung sagot ninyo. Pero, ang gagawin natin technique dito is for you not to get the negative value. Paano yon? So, para wala kayong negative value na makuha at hindi nyo na ilagay yung absolute value na ito, ganito yung gagawin nyo. Yung mas malaking arc, yung mas malaki, ima-minus mo sa mas maliit na arc. 
Alright, in that way, kapag mas malaki yung minus, mas maliit, therefore, wala negative na lalabas. Diba? Lagi siya magiging positive. So, since malaki, malaki is this one, AB. So, the measurement of arc AB, bakit yan, sir? Kasi siya po yung na-form na intercepted arc na napapaloob sa ating angle. Ito siya. Diba? Ito yung angle, yung mga katapat niyang intercepted arc, yan yung pag-uusapan natin. So, yung mas malaki muna, minus yung mas maliit, which is yung CD. Yung arc, measurement of arc, CD. Ayan. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na, parang hindi nyo nagawin yung may absolute value pa. Yung may line dyan. Ang absolute value kasi, it makes the number, kapag negative siya, it will become positive. Kapag positive siya, as is na positive siya. Ayan. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng absolute value. So, sabi ko nga, parang hindi natin gamitin yung absolute value, then, ang gawin lang natin, mas mataas, minus mas mababa. Ayan. And this will now be the working equation. Lagi pong ganito. Ang pinagkakaiba lang ng mga uh, equation natin is, is that, yung mga pangalan. Siyempre, mababago yung mga pangalan nito. Ayan. So, kailangan, marunong hindi kayo mag-rename nung arc tapos ng angle. Ayan. So, that's it for 2 secant exterior angle theorem. Kung may absolute value po kasi yan, sige, let me show you. Ganito yung magiging itsura niya. But if ever na magkakomplicate ito sa utak ninyo, wag nyo nang gamitin. Magiging kasi siyang ganito. Absolute value of, ayan, magkakaroon pa kayo ng panibagong symbol, which is correct naman. Tama din naman to. Ayan. Magkakaroon siya ng ganito. Kasi possible, if ever na mag-negative yung sagot mo dyan, then gagawin mo lang siyang positive. Yun ang purpose ng absolute value. Pero, eto nga ang kagandahan dito, kung uunahin mo yung mas mataas, followed by mas mababa, you will not get any negative value. And you will not need anymore the absolute value. Okay? Pero, eto naman ay nanggaling dito sa concept niya. Dito ko lang din naman yung kinuha. So, eto pa rin, dito pa rin kayo babalik. So, dapat alam niyo pa rin kung paano siya explain Okay? So, let's proceed to problems. Alright. So, lagyan na natin ng mga values. So, say for example, AB is 100 degrees. And the measurement of CD, this smaller arc, is 55 degrees. Then we are tasked to find APB. That's angle A, P, and B. Ayan. So, dapat by now, alam mo na kung saan nahanapin yung angle, tas yung arc. Yung arc sa palibot yan ng circle. Yung angle, yung mga gitna-gitna. Ayan. A, P, and B. That's angle A, P, B. Okay. So, gawa tayo ng working equation for our solution. Nagiging ganito yan. The measurement, syempre yung nawawala lagi na sa left. Angle APB is equal to 1 half, diba? Ito yung nasa theorem natin. 1 half daw siya ng mas malaki minus mas maliit. So, ang mas malaki is si arc AB tapos minus si arc CD. Diba? So, mas malaki ito, minus mas maliit. Bakit nga ulit? Para wala na tayong absolute value na ilalagay. Malaki muna bago maliit. Okay? Tapos, this would now be our working equation. Pero, since may mga values na siya, which is 100 sa 55, substitute lang natin para makuha yung mismong value ng angle. Measurement of angle APB is equal to 1 half. Anong measurement ng arc AB? 100 degrees. ba? Minus, ang arc CD, measurement niya. Anong measurement niya? 55 degrees. Sorry, I forgot to write yung M. Ibig sabihin measurement. Okay. Tapos, i-minus mo lang ito. What is 100 minus 55? That's 45. Tama? So, measurement of angle APB is equal to 1 half times 45 degrees. So, I will show you first the complete solution. Tapos, yung shortcut mamaya. So, ito kasi, pwede mo na kasi itong i-shortcut dito. You can have the final answer right away. Pero ito yung... Uh, tamang process. So, you have to multiply 1 half dun sa 45. Kaya mag-over 1 ka. Okay? Lahat ng number may over 1 yun. Alright? So, we have 1 times 45. That's numerator by numerator. Denominator by denominator. 1 times 45 is 45 degrees. Over 2 times 1 is 2. Ang ibig sabihin ng fraction is also division. Diba? 45 divide 2. Di-divide mo lang yan. Dividing din yan. 45 divided 2, let's do that. 45, hatiin mo sa dalawa. 4 divided 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, 0 na. Bring down 5. 
5 divided 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Tuloy lang. 0. Yung decimal dapat tapat ng sagot sa taas. Bring down 0. 10 divided 2 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So we have 22.5 degrees. Ayan. So this would now be our final answer. Measurement of angle APB is equal to 22.5 degrees. Box it because yan na ang sagot sa ating problema. Ayan. So ibig sabihin this is 22.5 degrees. Ganyan lang po siya. Alright, so that would be our complete solution. First, gawa ka muna ng working equation. Malaki minus mas maliit. Tapos tuloy ka lang. So yung shortcut na sinasabi ni sir, so kanina diba ganito siya? Measurement of angle APB is equal to 1 half times 45 degrees. So hindi ka natutuloy sa ganito. Ito kasi ang ibig sabihin niyan, 1 half ng 45, kalahate sa Tagalog, kalahate ng 45, kalahate ng 45. That means, i-divide mo lang itong 45 sa 2. Kaya, makakuha mo na rin yung 22.5. Pero kung complete talaga ang hinihingi ni teacher, then do this. Okay? Mag-over 1 ka times numerator, denominator, ayan, saka mo i-divide. Ayan, para ito yung shortcut. Pwede ka na mag-final answer agad dyan. Okay? So let's have our second example para mas makuha nyo pa. So let's have 127 degrees daw ang measurement ng SQ, ng arc SU. And yung measurement ng, ng PV ay 59 degrees. Find the measurement of PWV. So ang PWV, this one, ito yung angle na hinahanap. Angle, kaya dito ko siya minarkahan. SQ, ito yun. Diba? Tapos TV, ito yun. I'm sorry, I forgot to... <laughs> Balikan natin yung 1 para makita ninyo. So, before nga pala mag-proceed sa pagsosolve, make sure muna na tama tayo ng ginagamit na theorem. Kasi hindi pa nang basta-basta kagamit ng theorem kasi hindi lahat applicable sa isang problem. So, in this case, alamin natin kung pwede ba ang 2 secant exterior angle theorem. First question, may dalawang secant ka ba na nakikita? Yes, yung green saka yung blue. Bakit ko nasabing secant? Pareho silang may arrowhead, pareho silang line. At the same time, tumatama sila sa, tagdal, sa dalawang point na magkaiba. Alright. Next question, nasa exterior bang intersection? Yes. Nasa labas yung intersection niya. So therefore, pwede tayo ng 2 secant exterior angle theorem. Okay? So same as with number 2. Before you proceed to solving, check muna natin. May dalawang secants ba? 1, 2. Check. Nasa exterior ba? Check. Yung intersection? Check. Okay. So, therefore, pwede tayo mag-solve using that particular theorem. So, since ato ang intercepted arc niya, ato lang yung pag-uusapan natin. Okay? Ito yung mas malaki. Kita naman yung mas malaki, kaya hindi kayo mali dito. And actually, dito nga, kita nyo na agad eh. Mas malaki, tas mas maliit. ba? Ayan. So, that's it. So, mas malaki, mas maliit. So, gawa tayo ng working equation para mas madali nating ma-solve. Measurement of angle TWV, which is this one, atong pinapahanap sa atin, is equal to 1 half. So, this one is according to the theorem, di ba? Mas malaki. Sabi ni sir, mas malaki na lang para wala na kayong absolute value na ilalagay. That is SU. The measurement of arc SU minus the measurement of arc TV. Ayan. So, mas malaki minus yung mas maliit. Okay? Tapos proceed ka lang. Substitute mo lang yung mga value. TWV is equal to 1 half times what is measurement of arc SQ? 127 degrees. Yung minus mo sa 59 degrees. Okay? Try natin. I minus natin dito. 127 minus 59. Ilan yun? 7 minus 9 cannot be. Hingi ka sa 2. Magiging 1 yung 2. Magiging 17 yung 7 ganina. 17 minus 9, that is 8. 1, hindi pwede hingi ka dun sa 1. Magiging 11 na siya. 11 minus 5, that is 6. So, that is 68 degrees. So, measurement of angle TWV is equal to 1 half times 68 degrees. Tapos, sabi nga ni sir, pwede ka na mag-shortcut dyan. Kasi ito ay 1 half ng 68 or kalahati ng 68. Kaya pwede mo na siyang i-divide agad. Pero ito ang complete solution. Mag-over 1 ka. Numerator by numerator, that's 68 degrees. Denominator by denominator, that is 2. Tapos divide mo ito. 
Burahin ko lang ito kasi baka makalito. Okay, so divide mo lang yung 68 over 2. Then that would be the final answer. Ito kasing fraction ay division din. So yung 68 kapag dinivide mo sa 2, this is 34. Tama? 34 degrees. Ayan. So ibig sabihin, yung measurement na ito ay 34 degrees. Then box it kasi that would now be the final answer. Ayan. Now, let's proceed to our humor drill. Okay? So, I'll give you one problem to answer. I'll pause for a while now, and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. Okay, let's answer. So, ito yung ating problem. Ayan. So, 78 degrees daw yung AD. Ito yan, yung mas maliit. Mas malaki is 176 degrees. Although, nagkabalitad yung given natin dito. ba? Diba? Pero dapat alam nyo pa rin kung ano yung mas malaki sa mas maliit. So, kitang-kita naman sa, gra ay sa ating illustration. At ang mas malaki, mas maliit. Tapos, dito din sa value niya, mas malaki ang 176 compared sa 78. ba? Diba? So, kaya dapat alam nyo rin kung paano gagawin yung formula. So, for our solution, measurement of angle AFD, ito yan, AFD, that's, angle, that's the angle, is equal to kalahati ng difference ng BE, ng mas malaki, minus yung measurement ng mas maliit, which is AD. Ayan, ato. Mas malaki, minus mas maliit, Ayan. Ito yung working equation natin. The measurement of angle AFD is equal to 1 half ng measurement ng BE, which is 176 minus 78 degrees. Minus mo lang. In 176, i-minus mo sa 78. 6 minus 8 cannot be hingi ka sa 7. Magiging 6, 16, 8. 16 minus 7, that is 9. Tama? Tama ba? Yeah, so that is 98 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, the measurement of arc AFD is equal to 1 half or kalahati ng 98 degrees. Kalahati ng 98, pwede ka na mag-divide dyan. Tara, ito ang complete solution. Over 1. 98 times 1, or 1 times 98, that is 98 degrees. 2 times 1, that is 2. So, divide mo lang yan. That's 98 over 2 or 98 divide 2. Okay, divide natin dito. 98 divide 2, 2 divide 9 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, minus 9 minus 8 is 1, bring down 8, 18 divide 2 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 0. Okay, so we have, the answer for this is, measurement of AFT is equal to 49 degrees. Ayan, so that is now the final answer. Ayan, congratulations sa nakatama dito. Let me know sa comment section kung tumama ka dyan para makongratulate kita. Ayan. So, see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned and you enjoyed our topic for today. And, huwag kang aalis hindi ka nakakapag-subscribe and nakakapag-click ng notification bell. And also, let me remind you that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag you more PH. Bye bye. See you in our next video.